Saturday morning, mom told us about the change of plans. Dad was busy and couldn't go on the trip, so mom had decided that we would not go either. Instead, my little brother Leo and I were going to go visit our grandparents. And that was why Leo and I ended up at grandma and grandpa's house for the week. Mom had told me to help take care of Leo, but I wasn't sure if I could. Placing the last sharpened pencil and notebook on the table, smiling at myself, I thought I was ready for the first day helping Leo with his summer homework. But I was wrong. Leo, do your summer homework, I shouted, expecting him to come over. But instead, he started running around, screaming, you're not my mom. What happened next was a nightmare. Leo was running and screaming, then BAM! Grandma's favorite flower vase had fallen to the floor, causing it to shatter. Boy, we were lucky that Grandma wasn't mad. Later that day, I decided that Leo and I should bake a batch of cupcakes for Grandma to show her that we were sorry about the accident. We put on aprons and started to bake. Leo started fooling around and bumped into me, spilling milk on the floor. Leo! I shouted. Leo screamed, slipped on the milk, and fell, kicking open the cabinet. Oops! He yelled. Cling, clang! Out flew two of Grandpa's most expensive bowls and Grandma's best cup, breaking into a million pieces. One piece almost hit Leo's foot. Watch out, I said. Leo jumped backward and hit the bowl of batter. It splashed onto Grandpa, who had just came back from work. Grandpa was so startled that he knocked over the flower. Ew! we screamed. Soon everyone was sticky, icky, and the whole kitchen was raining flour. When Grandma heard us, she came down to see what was happening. Ah! Grandma screamed, louder than all of us together. After the disaster, I decided to take a rest and reflect on what had happened. But the annoying little boy next to me kept screaming and shouting. I could not concentrate. Leo had reminded me of someone, myself. When I was Leo's age, I was sometimes even worse than he was. I could be very good or very naughty. When I was scared or sad, I was even naughtier. I finally understood how Leo felt. When I had my first sleepover at our grandparents' house, I was scared. That was probably why Leo behaved so badly. I decided that instead of bossing Leo around, I would help him. The next few days were better. With me understanding him, Leo felt more secure. When the day had come for us to go home with our parents, we agreed that we'd had so much fun. Things might have started out rocky, but everything had ended up perfectly. I learned a lesson. When life gives you lemons, make lemonade.